Hey everybody, so today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, we'd like to wish all of our family, friends, subscribers, viewers, everybody out there, happy Valentine's Day. And with that said, we're gonna we're gonna share um, a little collection of Stephanie's and then we're gonna take you along uh, with us out to dinner um, to celebrate Valentine's Day. So my collection starts off with um, paper, cards, and valentines um, that I've collected. Um, and I threw in some of my paper doll collection. Yep. <laughs> Just to entertain you. <laughs> and uh, you see how long I've had these. Um, some of them are from the 60s. Uh, almost all of them are from the 70s. And there are some paper dolls from the 50s. Okay, subscribers, you'll have to you'll have to let us know what your favorite one is in the comments below. And you can consider your favorite one the um, From Us to You. Everybody has to remember when you sat in class and you um, made the fancy Valentine's mailbox and every class would get up and go to each other's class and put everybody's name in. It was awesome. I, my favorite ones were the ones that came with the lollipops or Smarties taped to it. Does anybody remember those those days? I guess it stopped around fourth grade. This one, I didn't know if it was cute or ironic where she it looks like she doesn't have a party hat on, but maybe a dunce cap. <laughs> <laughs> But it was a hard decision to decide which kid got which card, you know. Uh, it was for me. These seem to have a little color page in there. And because um, you're my favorite. Now that might be um, something you put with your boyfriend or some boy you liked or girl you liked. See, I remember, especially at that age, and girls had cuties, but... Given the teachers. <laughs> this is definitely 80s, and um, I believe these were... Um, my daughter was born in 84, so these could have been from her Valentine's school days. These are, look like they're 1920s, and um, their sayings are awkward, <laughs> to say this, or corny. How about corny? This one, alarming. But you are what makes me tick. I don't know if we can send things like that to <laughs> our, our school chums anymore. No, probably not. These are um, just miscellaneous 70s cards that um, they were kind of hysterical. And... Um, this one is to a couple of gay dogs. And it's a pop-out. Happy anniversary. <laughs> These cards are mostly the 50s, 1950s. And then... They were, they were just made in with different paper. Um, the paper was more like tissue paper. They're 
um, scriptures and and writing was more elegant. To say anything from hello to I miss you to uh, congratulations, I wish you well. And then these are my like 70s. Everybody who grew up in the 70s will remember this style. This card is um, made by Famous Artist Studios, but they were made in the USA. And um, this artist was very popular at the time. For And then we call it kitsch now. And then I'll show you my paper doll collection. I don't have the doll for this, but I kept the outfit. And this is cutouts that I haven't cut out yet. And these are 1950s. You can tell by the outfit and um, the sturdiness of the doll itself. And the costume, we had several costumes for each of the dolls and nightwear, um, your, your coats. There was a lot of things included in the, in the doll, paper doll box. And they do come with the stands and lots more outfits for each three of the dolls. And this was a Victorian doll and my Nikola Tesla, her husband. <laughs> and her glorious Victorian dresses. <laughs> Okay, if everybody's still good from after all of that. <laughs> so that's just a little taste of um, some of the collection I pulled out when I was thinking about um, being Valentine's Day. I wanted to show off some of my Valentine's collection that I have. And um, I just spread out what would fit on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I picked this one out for all of our subscribers. We really want to thank you for subscribing to our channel and supporting us in all the great comments and um you know i picked this one i could grow to like you i think this was a little sweet little depicting a sweet little scene and we all have to grow whether it's spiritually physically mentally never stop growing that's it so now off to dinner follow us as stephanie's running running for the black olive <laughs> so that's where we're going for our Valentine's Day dinner. Looks pretty cool from the outside anyways. I like this little dude. This little dude right there. Alright, let's try to get this here. So they got hot grilled sandwiches and subs. oven baked pasta dishes build your own pasta strombolis and calzones And then they have pizza. Which all looks pretty good. Okay, so I know you should, normally I should start with the appetizers and side orders, but I started with the wrong side, so we will do this second. And then they have salads. Look pretty decent. Different dressing. And they have the chicken platters.
chicken marsala. And then seafood platters. So they also have a bar menu, which we have the wine list. I'm not sure how good you're going to be able to see this, but I'll do my best. And the red wine. I've never cared for wine. And they got vodka, gin, rum, tequila, yeah, scotch, other bourbon and whiskey, bottled beer, and then their cocktails. Which Stephanie got the maple chai whiskey sour. Okay. I actually read raspberry giblet. <laughs> it's not what that says, but that's what I read. Are you excited? Yeah. So and I, and I got a Coke. <laughs> so it's like every day is like Valentine's Day for me and Leander. That's corny, but it's true. We always go out for dinner. We always go sightseeing. We're always with friends. Yep. It's it's just wonderful. Just Valentine's Day is just another day to us. Yep, just an excuse. This restaurant's super cute. It's um, compact, but um, it looks like it is extended to other eating areas. And it's in a strip mall. It is um, pretty um, authentic Italian restaurant feel and theme. Um, it's got really nice light playing 80s rock and it's just a real sexy restaurant. I just, yeah. I'm glad you picked this one, honey. Well, you know, they have three locations. We'll take a little look around, around at me. So they just brought out my maple chai um, whiskey sour. It's got four roses bourbon, toasted chai, simple syrup, lemon juice, maple syrup, and cinnamon. Come on now, come on. Is that? And it's not, it's not really that big of a glass. Remember, TV adds 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> our meals have just come out. They were Johnny on the spot when we came in. We got our drinks right away. Our yep. foods come out within 15 minutes, and it looks amazing. I ordered the Hawaiian pizza with ham and pineapple. Yep, it looks pretty decent. I got the 12 inch pizza. Yep. And then we got the Italian bread. I think it's French garlic bread. Yeah, Italian garlic bread. And then I got the chicken parm, lasagna, and spaghetti. So it's to... called the um, black olive special. Yes, black olive special. So that's, that's a mound of food there. And we'll let you know what we think. Let's go. So of course we give the review at the end, so I don't wanna ruin that, but the lasagna, I mean, usually I'm like, just put sauce, meat, noodle, cheese, you know, like, like layer it that way. This is layered completely different. It's, they got the cheese and the meat between the layers, but no sauce until you get to the top. That's all right. Yeah, and then they covered it with more cheese. And the uh, the chicken parm, that's really good too. So let's take a look at the dessert here quick. Cannolis. They got chocolate peanut butter fudge cake, tiramisu, and chocolate overload cake. Truth be told, I only like my mother's chocolate cake. 
Then we got the turtle cheesecake, New York style cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake, the carrot cake, and an Italian cream cake. Not gonna get it finished, folks. Not gonna happen. And Stephanie's way not gonna get it done. <laughs> Because I just seem to always forget to do this part. There is the total, $55. I didn't think that was too bad. And we each have take homes. Secondary meals. Yep. That's four meals for $55 once again. Yeah, really good. On a wonderful uh, Valentine's Day. Woo! How nice was that? That was pretty good. So we were at the Black Olive in Jonesboro, mm -hmm. and um, they have two other locations. Yep, Johnson and, City and Elizabethton. And um, we will definitely come back. The motto here at the Black Olive was timeless, simply Italian, and um, classic. And I, I concur. Yeah, they had um, recipes that really really work and um every even the desserts look nice we didn't we didn't get any um italian desserts tonight no. but um everything on my pizza it was a unique pizza it's not our favorite kind of pizza like the brick oven pizza no but it was um a, it was a good pizza it was a sweet and savory mm -hmm. ham and pineapple hawaiian pizza yep yeah i mean it it caught me off guard when I tried her pizza because um, I'd actually never had a Hawaiian pizza taste quite like that one. Um, it was, I think, I think it was the ham. I don't know what kind of ham they used, but um, it was good. It was yes, good. it was good. Um, now my meal, I got the the holy crap that was a lot of food meal. <laughs> and you did. You got the black olive special. Special. Yep. Um, their lasagna, of course, was, you know, I'm stacked differently than I would stack it to make mine. Um, but I'll be honest, uh, I liked it better than mine. i be honest, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Um, it, yep. Yours is so good, honey. Right, but. but it, it, did, it really was a completely different creature. Yeah. Here. Um, so the, I usually never, ever, ever get spaghetti out because the sauce always lets me down. Um, I, I loved the sauce here. And um, so the, the lasagna got a perfect 10, 10 out of 10. The uh, the chicken parm was excellent. Um, the spaghetti with spaghetti, the sauce. Yep, yeah, that was and that, great. You got plenty of Italian bread. Yeah, was it fresh like a whole loaf. Fresh and hot? Yeah, I, well, it wasn't hot, but um, but it was really good. It had like butter and garlic melted on top. Um, you got to take plenty home. Yeah, plenty of it home. I only actually ate one little piece of it. Just a personal preference of mine. I would have liked to have had butter to put on my bread, like more butter. The little bit that was melted on top wasn't enough for me. Um, but that's just me, you know. Some people would say I'm weird. <laughs> you know, we love our pasta. Yeah. And we love our meat and potatoes, but um, I believe this for being a small chain. Yeah, I I thought it was great. I we would, would definitely we come would back. do this. Yeah, we would do this again. Yep. So we want to thank everybody for watching. Um, and we hope you're having a wonderful Valentine's Day. Yes, we wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. If you don't have a Valentine's Day, or if you don't have a Valentine out there. Um, Know that we love you. God loves you. Um, you're you're not alone. Yeah. And um, so, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the little bell. That'll let you know when we post more. And we try we try to post every other day. It doesn't always work out that way, but um, at least three or four times a week. And um, we appreciate everybody that's subscribed already and um make sure you're not unscribed facebook has been doing something facebook. um what i say facebook yeah <laughs> well you YouTube. never know
Facebook, YouTube, who's, who's in bed with who. Um, you never know. Um, check to see if uh, YouTube has unsubscribed any of our viewers. Yeah, because they actually, we followed um, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. And I was like, wow, I haven't seen any of their videos for a while. And I actually went in and looked and it was like, well, I missed a couple months worth because somehow we ended up unsubscribed. But, um, you know, something just to keep in mind. Um, also, if you have your own um, YouTube channel, you know, check with yeah. uh, your subscribers to make sure they're not being unsubscribed. So, at any rate, we appreciate everybody out there. Thank you again for watching. Until and until next, next time, time, have, have a, a Stephanie Lee day. day.